<laughs> okay. Lately, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and... And... Okay. I'll choose your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. Well, get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. This title will find nutrition to not die. Race it, go. So the cannon is nothing. You're used to filling your stomach with water. But it's not enough, your body demands sustenance. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. Freeze are completely empty. Where are you and your little bit of pile your trash? It's already been scavenged several times and it's truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. Wait, what is this? Got a can of tomatoes. Maybe you should sell that to your brother. Wherever he's at. You show him the tomato can. Ta da! Okay, let's see. A little bit slightly. Not the reaction you were hoping for. <laughs> Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, actually. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're in, in, yeah, energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How do you know it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. I live in the den of snakes. Ah, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that in your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them, then. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. I don't know if they have food. Good day. You still alive in there? Oh, if you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. Don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either. Nah, I'll take that as a yes, still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guys screwing up. Can you go grab something for this, from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check on you again later. Bye. No way. Hey, wait, come back. He doesn't. Oh, damn it. Oh, we boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. It's even a little bit of pepper left to season it with. Some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. Use all your, spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself by drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It's in this moment that you would ominous audio assault your eardrums. Kidding me? Never is at it again. Can I go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got a balcony key. Not the balcony door. Can't really see a spot from here. Oh, you take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's going to the fourth floor. Ash, yeah, don't even think about it. Uh, it's no fun. He's no fun. Yes, uh, you have to set something up to cross it. Just some dirt.
No, I know. It's how thrilling. Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? I won't pick up no matter how many times you call. We also tried to order food a bazillion times. For whatever reason, the orders never arrive. Yeah, that's true. No cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for batch of things in. Mm. What could we use? Where's the empty? Hoodie. Old drawing in the drawer. How dare you laugh at my artistic genius? Garbage you hold on to. Yeah, I was proud of this one. Still am. <laughs> well, it is still the best thing you ever drew. Hmm, I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. Oh, she says alone, sad, and abandoned. There are only so many things you can brew at the same ground. There's no more coffee in this house. Okay. Remember when they still gave us food and stuff? Good times. But they don't do that anymore because they're scared to open the door. They can still squeeze something in through the mail slot. What? Pasta? Like, like anything. Are they gonna just let us die here? At this point, I'd be surprised they didn't. This whole situation is going to be a PR nightmare, I'm sure. I wonder if they'd rather we die than talk about it. Sherry. They should come in and shoot us down or get something. Get it over with. It wouldn't look very natural, I guess. I guess. No trash bag, nothing worth mentioning is inside. Crap, you alright? Goddamn DIY shelves, I swear. Take the shelf? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just make a bridge. Oh, demons from hell, hear me, hear my plea. Oh, the unholy one, I come seeking your advice. Hell. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? Thought that was perfect. I know I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Screw up this. Is it almost time to let us watch TV? Oh, what about their stuff over here? Full useless junk. Okay, I guess nothing. Are we gonna. I guess we're not gonna get the plank. Alright, I'm almost dead. Just went on the TV. Meh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fix some batteries for you. I'll have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, what was you? It is. Okay. Where can we find batteries? Transit. Oh. Mm hmm. Get the bears out of the alarm clock. Sure, you don't need to wake up on time anymore. We just player cannot be eaten. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang up job. More? Oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You stand in awe. You should sit too. It's starving. Alright. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted wire situation. We're happy to announce that all the permits to which the tainted wire have been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at the comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again. 
and to our friend in quarantine. Thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public's safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. Besides, the same. That's insane. Mom, where are you going? We will probably be staying at the hotel for a bit. But they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Not, not booze, not dirty contaminated, dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I drank is some orange juice from a current carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this one hurt a bit. Mayor sticks me to win you. Here we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. If not, then you'll see. You get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley. Please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. I won't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer effort, so I'm really busy. God, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you're gonna have to complain about. Anyway, we gotta go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Mom of the Year award goes to... If we're reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does. It's a remaining, uh, upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. The laundry. Laundry. Trash, lies, your hope and dreams. Exactly where they belong. Take the laundry. Hmm. And cleaning. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Think of it, do we even have detergent left? I don't know, we're about to find out. You're not going to get this clean with your bare hands. That's right. End up the books. Turn all the books to the shelf. Now, what else could you clean? Uh, we could get the mop from the bathroom. Maybe do a little bit of mopping. Oh, she said sweep first, but I guess that doesn't matter. What else is there to take care of? It's trash? I guess not. Urgent. laundry. Feeling dizzy. Yeah, I told you not to overdo it. The news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been a class surge in the quarantine households. Oh boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of? It has. It looks like I'm eating right now. On that note, we'd like to remind all of you to not enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. You still feel there is help. The staff will be administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. That clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be drift back into unconsciousness. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? Shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. I don't know, go ahead. Someone's talking on the end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, I'm, or I mean yes, but that doesn't, no, I'm not angry, I'm just, no, I, can you let me talk? The voice man must have said no. 
increasingly loud, but you can still make out all the words. Always about da da da. You don't, uh, Ashley and Ashley and. We had time to think, just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's crying on both ends. All right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. All right, I really don't see why I should be held accountable for. Can't beep beep, but my job call can be heard. Ah. Who was it? Nice girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? Well, how should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite that's at home by the apparently perma quarantine? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Maybe she just doesn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. Maybe there's something more tactful to say. Never, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Not even now for who knows how long. Here you should check on your brother. Someone from their apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. And me too. You were yelling from the windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. It's nameless leaves in a hurry. I'm gonna be surprised they actually got that person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their siren flaring for a corpse. Then what these foes was an emergency. No idea. Nobody showed up when we when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? I don't know. Maybe she went to labor or something. Yeah, maybe. I think they'd bring me food if I got Nope. Let me finish. I hope she even get pregnant here. Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Or my dead body. A little bit off his rocker, so who knows? He just might. And you. Forget this. Excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. The woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whoever, it was just a thought. Jackass. We didn't like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But you're just too exhausted. Lastly, for a few hours, maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully paralyzed, bursting with energy. Okay. I guess not. Wait, is it how long have you been locked in your apartment now? The hell did Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Hour out, depending on your perceptive. I mean, that all the time we didn't try that. He'll be barking to the side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't bring you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you. Larry will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on that door. And next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's foot steps fade away. I think he'll really get that delivery today. Yeah, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see, you did. Absolutely nothing was delivered. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months, are you feeling anything? Hunger. We didn't think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. Nurse never came back either. Like, you don't want to monitor us? <sighs> Who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again. Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Well, I'll race you. No, seriously, let's go. It's not though, I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? It's meant to hit the ground together. 
and with such force her bodies turned into a pile of gray, gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up that they had to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin that I've been a part of what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. Those are your plans for romance. Not romance, I say romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is. They were such blessed his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? Was she just. Mmm. Must work this time. I feel like you should check up on that. Oh no. Wrong way. My lord, you've come. And you're, uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Well, I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay Lacklin's body of the cultists. Damn. Uh, I'm already delirious. Did you see that too? Do we, uh, do we check on him? At the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. Make it sound like we're gonna die any day. Why aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's gotta be something this guy has that we can eat. Oh, burglary time. Shut up and let's get in here. Your knob taunts you from the other side of the glass. How are we gonna get in there then? be a way to do some just tripping. Use the ass, right? <laughs> Simple as that. I just turn this off. A lot of meat, you think to yourself. But I'm loud, apparently. I mean, is it legal if you didn't kill the guy? Is what legal? Well, you know. You want to eat him. Isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I'm just making an observation. No, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. No way we couldn't get caught once they finally let us out. Not only we killed that guy. You're just messing with the corpse of the crime too. I think they should lock, look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? For that, you couldn't tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm not expecting the answer. Well, let's check the answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright then, let's go find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Weaver. 
Oh, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, chop off the cultist. Right arm. Left arm. We can't carry him out like in the open like this. Be quick about it. You can't go get some plastic bags or something. Take care of the rest of me now, I guess. How long are you, Andy? Don't call me that. You have him to Cleaver? All empty. Wow. Let's say. As for the feces, you feel zero inclination to investigate further. How is it big enough to hide in? It's good to know. Um, some money. There's a lot of your door. Okay, look at the book titled Demon Summoning for Dummies, volume 666. You actually have the 665 volume for this one, or? You ask the important questions. What I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place. In close, the author must be shy. Either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Candles burnt down. I swear there's nothing in. Gosh darn it. We looked everywhere. Oh yes, there are perfect little plastic bags that are already full already. Right now, carry the meat you're about to eat inside of the used trash bag. Find something else. We will keep looking. Need more plastic bags somewhere. Ah! Sometimes it's so obvious I just avoid it. I'm like, ain't no way. And yeah. Right arm, left leg. Left leg, or right leg. Well, I found the sense itself. That's a bag of bit enough to put the whole torso in them. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over. I don't think that's gonna work. Watch and learn. Yeah, see? If anyone happens to be looking out the window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags. Listen, if you're going to. Ta da! God, no, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, alright, enough. Got the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in the freezer. That's the torso and head in this freezer for now. Oh, cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook us. Fight the something. This little lemons in the freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? Start with the arm. All right, time to cook. Across the meat. Then it's ready. All right, so what are we having here? 
Pretty delicious this is what? Eat up. You first. Mm. Huh, what? You already okay. Eat Andrew, you will not waste this. Right. And you take the bite about your cooking. Mm. You don't think he likes it. Begins retching. No, you don't. Swallow. All of it. Well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this well off. So you're not leaving the table before you lick the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. And quit your gagging, you big baby. Leave that, right? Just give me a minute. I'm gonna watch while he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud. Fuck off, Ashley. What a nice way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll put it in the table, so leave me alone. Yeah, I know that you the spices left. What do you think I should try next? I don't know, maybe Cora Grandeur? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. She says she likes you. Who? A friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. Are you going to be your boyfriend? Gross, no. Hmm. I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I make her think friends before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? Huh, somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or this person for that matter. Screw you, I'm the most person this lady in the world. Anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries you coming with. Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. I'll, I'll show her. That's not. Then you should go ask her to hang out so she won't say no. Ellie, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. I said you help me with anything. I'll choose your friend. Oh, well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend now again afterwards. She just needs to remind her how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I only let her out when she promised enough to tell on us. Do it, Andy. I guess. Alright, you're the best. Today's episode was titled Andy and the Lele and the Bitch in the Box. One day you'll be a bitch in the box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. Who is taking him? He would have forgotten our plans, would he? Finally. Hmm? What are you doing here? Fine, I want to hang out too. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? Eh, <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I'm going to study with Julia. Why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. Sally, but me. I mean, she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? Why allow it? Let's find the way in right now. God darn it. Jump off on the other side, the window is too high. I wouldn't like convincing um, some la -la -la to jump anyway. To maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Something wrong. No, nah, we can't go in this way. Why didn't know this metal sheet thing on the wall? There's a hole behind it. Perfect, tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh. You know what this flimsy? Yes. 
I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Feel mallet? Can I think of a way a mallet would be useful in this situation? I sure can. As in, help us get in the warehouse. Okay, yeah. In that case, no. Oh, lady, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing. Let's keep looking. Got a hammer. Use the back of the hammer to pull off the nails. Wow, sure is uh, kind of dusty here. You see, worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. I know, how about we play some hide and seek? Nice. You're a kid. Huh? And Andy wants to play too. You do? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. See? I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred? Count to hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. Alright, let's go find a box of sugar. You still wanna do that? Of course, she said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Maybe. We promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Hands already full. About this one. Now this will do. There's any lock on it though. We actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't. This is thick or something between the rings. Don't keep it closed. Don't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside. Now she had leverage too. Ready or not, here I come. Crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Now let's hide inside. I'm not okay. I was about to say, where did we get a stick anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden breeze at his feet. I guess those are those. No, what do you think? Is she pretty? A stick? No, what do you think, dumbass? She's fine, I guess. Found you, both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? Uh huh. It was my spot first. Then you're it. No way. Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yes, yes. I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Yeah, my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Okay. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Ooh, boo -hoo, who cares? My mom does, she'll get mad if I... Under it. Shoot, he's coming. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, okay. Can you see your friend hops inside the crate? Oh. What was that? I got you now. So it's too weak to off to live. This is funny, actually. Let me out. There you are, Andy. You slow poke. Hey up, she's putting up a fight. Get brief. Okay. She alright? Stop already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lily. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from dust. Come on, just let her out. But you'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine. Let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Everyone likes her better, but you like her better too. Everyone does. I already know. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Mom, I already told you I don't want... And bet... Bet you only hang out with me because Mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better, lately. Prove it, liar. I knew it. Maybe you had more friends if you weren't always so. Me and my own brother picks me over her. I already knew it. I knew it already. Did I not just say? La 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 la. Talk sure is cheap. Damn it. There. You happy now? Yes. Just until morning, okay? 
Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. Are you there, Matt? You get to stay here till the morning. Oh, please. Ashley, let me out. Ashley, wait, don't go. Ashley, please. Cough, cough. Oh, no. Cough. Mm hmm. Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just out. What the fuck did we, did we do? Still on about dinner. Fine, just starved it. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate the corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died. And yes, I'm sorry. He summoned the demon and didn't die. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, uh, we wouldn't have had the minute we were there. We could have just told him to check on that guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What? What the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have swore it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want to do? Need to do about it? Huh? Whoosh whoosh. There goes my magic wand. There, I was all of you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, we can't boot. Can't be excused. It's the water company's fault. First, they locked us in here for months, and then they won't even feed us. And the cap be a real thing? Maybe we can plead the sanity. I don't know, Ashley. Mmm, there, there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get this, his head off. He didn't fit in the freezer properly. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just, uh, kept cutting around and pulled it off. Like some plant, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. And I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. Same. Kinda like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Actually. Hmm. Andrew, what is it? Andrew. 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 Andy. Hey. <laughs> I told you stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Well, oh, my mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Make me, you little bitch. Just forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to go to all the adventures? What? Andy and Lady's quest for something or another, remember? I bring this up. Isn't that just one, another one of those? I don't know. Can you just play along for now? Then we're out of this crappy situation. Then we can unpack it all later. Why not? I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. And I could tell a therapist about what I've been up to. Alright, just thought. Let's just get out of here. I wish I had done months ago. Now we got food. Don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? No, no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Whether in this coffin or of a house, I'm getting railed in prison. And so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well? Where are we at? This episode was titled Late, Andy and Lately Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. Love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. Oh my god, I don't love you that much. You want to make me kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. Bullet hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> okay. Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Awesome. Wait, what the fuck was that? No, so the door reads. We need arrival back at the cultist layer. Andy. Well, he, he need to come around. 
The girl right there, I don't know if you thought it was gonna be a suicide note. Better, let's see what he's up to. Alright. Hey there. Good morning. What's you up to? Looking at the theme and summoning instruction manual book thing. Great. Good at things how given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. The man won't kill me. He was successful up to the point he left an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. That's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only one to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. Think you want to ask one to get us out of here? Wouldn't want to get out of here in the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. But will we ask from them? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. This barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here, demon for human souls. Obviously, it's got to be that. Where do you have a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Actually. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it. I see. I was keeping my thoughts my own. Can we already share enough? I'm like a thought, let's not do this. Come on, I'm not gonna sacrifice you. I'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for them. What's the need? I'm not gonna read this yet. You can start by replacing the candles for now. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> Just no. How exactly does he want me to replace the candles? Place candle. Oh, painfully obvious right in front of me. I'm done. What now? Now we. So, a lot of cooking, are you? We finally we found a little worried here. Hmm. Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys is answering. We're the one, I think he croaked. But he's just a B type anyway. Fine, I'll check it out from my room. Once for stuff, move away from the door. So what I got to do to get the door open? Shut up for two days? So he's gonna come in and see all this. No, no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. See if I find a guy missing. Once he checks the freezer, which is where all the bugs are coming from. Oh, go. Before he notices we're not home. I keep him until I mopped up all the blood. Maybe I'll assume the guy just jumped to the balcony or something. She a corpse below now. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Okay, gotta get him up, gotta get him up, gotta get him up, gotta get him up. Actually, the warning's coming. Huh? What are you doing here? Shoot. Sad one soon calls over his buddy. Take it back to your apartment. I wish you and brother wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so bad for you. Then I'm gonna let you try again. 
I had no time. Oh my God. Wait. Oh yeah, I was supposed to hide in the closet. It wasn't about speed, it was about hiding. Okay. Reading to salutations. Hmm. Huh. Anybody home? Great, another suicide. How'd you get in here? <sighs> Andrew seem too pleased with you right now. You want to have a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lily. Let's go play. I thought I got caught here. You did. Heaven's the best of us. We're dead. What are you doing now, Andy? You actually killed a man. Like directly. Yep. Those prize there. <laughs> the words your mental breakdown. I'm saving it for later. They all. It was the eye you sleep over this one, huh? Actually, I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Alright. Look at here. Key room. 405. At last, you locked the door in. Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I have to make sure we're on the same page about something. The excuse we have for eating that other guy is not the one though because of your screw up. Sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was gonna happen if I hadn't? But I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? Point is, no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what we went of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. No doubt it'd be you. Obviously we did something once this guy's ship ends and the next morning comes and we're looking around. Does we disappear while we can. Well, you might as well notice I'm trying. You see? I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. And when you you think you're gonna find mom and dad. I'm saying all this is off the table. And I'm playing anything yet, actually. God, it's even worse. Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again. But you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authority thing to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. You're going to take this to the grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. And back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half-dead guy in our freezer with my fingernail prints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Hey, okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a to ask about mom or dad, or any of my so far friends anymore. Not one of them felt necessary to even answer my calls, or come flying, fling food up to our balcony. We caught the feet to store something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affection officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha. Huh. That's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I do. I lost brain cells too. Can't lose what we don't have. Fuck you. Alright, alright, let's get the hell out of here already. Hmm. 
<laughs> Can we get the other people out too? Looks like it's probably on the second floor. Oh, let me see. Another one there. I'm hosting. Wanted to be killed, have another one. So shoot this guy. Nope, he only had the key to that filter room. And the walkie talkie. I think the one's on every floor. Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. I don't have to have anything else to do than keep curious people away. They tend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around them? Don't ask me. Be here. Four floor key. Go to Those and drawings by the person. Hey, hold on, don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? The nearest from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Why don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here. That's what I said. Why would I want out? Get free food and I play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Hey, they actually bring you food? Of course, I'll you anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. You bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley. Fuck you and get out, both of you. Fuck you too, lady. That was something. How can we get to different treatment? Why don't I get food? Because you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? Any one she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there? That she saw us though? Probably not, but you go in there swing at your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Second warning comes in and shoots us. It's hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warning. Well, we can't get this woman up in the cultist room. We got Sol to offer. I think we're gonna convince her lazy ass to leave and leave her room. Hey, Sweeney, let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. So, there am I. That I shouldn't even be fed? Maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm wandering around the house. Yeah, okay, fair point. I wouldn't let them anyway. How do you finish the... How do you finish the ritual setup? Also, runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what ruins though. If you're drawing what the guy had, already drawn. Seemed to work. Where's the stuff to draw it in? Double check the warrant also had a gun tucked away somewhere. Found the walkie talking. Useless. Don't know. At least we'll hear the other warrant tried to contact this one. Which ends the case time for is running out for us. Big deal. At this point, we're screwed anyway. Or we're gonna have demon eat this. Um, that's not a bad idea, actually. He burst one stone. He'll come in guns blazing. Alright. I think. Was that it? You dip your fingers in the dead, worn wounds. I have an idea. Oh. Cut a lady from downstairs, lure the warden up here with the walkie talk. Now, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. Alright then, let's go convince her. Well, there's something else that still needs to be set up. So I'm the candle to turn on the audio. I think it's best to be there once the warden is on his way. Yeah, we're the one to keep the demon waiting.
You two again? Sorry, sorry. It's one last thing we forgot to ask you. Well, I thought I made myself clear. Hmm? What do you want? Hey, get off of me. What's gonna happen now is that you'll pull into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them yeah, you and your friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play, play nice. Well, please, I'll do anything. I'll tell them anything. We'll see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Press walkie talkie on. Hello? Hmm? Who's there? Hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you uh, care for a quick visit? Quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be the, I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. Is it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. No, mm, and nothing. They're right there, sweet cheeks. Well, the competition there. Alright, good, let's go. But go for her now, what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet till it's done. But, good going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Lady Catch. And it throws you something lighter. Very back to finish the ritual. Turn the audio on. Yep. So I'm supposed to do something's here. Who are you? I can't see. You're asking my name, human. Uh what do you offer? Make that mess up? I'm gonna pay for his name. I'm here. It's kinda dark, huh? I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's Dr. Warren reaches for his gun. Mm -hmm. Him. Out for him. <laughs> uh well, how is it? He may look faint. Careless soul, I'll give you this. Identify a small object. Hold it for an occasional clear or woman dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. Fentity has left. You're still alive, unlike the other ear of the wardens. That went way too fast. And I didn't get his name nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever I wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash laying around in the demon pocket. No matter, the warden's dead and if I have one plan of a dream, that'd be cool as hell. Time to linger on the fact that your soul is currently a vicious pitch black mess. Yes, you already knew that. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang, my bad. Just give me a second floor and gun. It's time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. Probably shoot the lady though. Damn. Tell your pants by the lady's brains on the wall has been thwarted. Her corpse are hard to rest in the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. I don't know if I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were talking a while. Taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Let them learn. How interesting. If you want to take your chances with that. No reason. Are you getting that? You just say she was pretty. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and I hear I was wondering why you were still staying behind. Andrew shoots his low while I risk getting shot by the warren. Are you worried that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot, too. It's your own fault for letting her go. I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. The last time I wasn't trying to get with her. And if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Okay, that makes her fine then. Good to know. I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Then every time. Every time indeed. Every time she fucking flus it comes around. Yeah, I'm not so bit. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cock brain. And that's definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priority straight. Priority is right now is getting out of here. Priority should be me. Blow out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. No, shut up. And screw the neighborhood lady. 
And on that note, will you get back to the fuck off with my life? Love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed hell out of her or something. Well, she told you? Oh, it's hell, hell. Very off with loose lip words like that. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out of the quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you stopped ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis at the moment I'm not supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you really love it here where I can't take as much of a piss without you knowing. Huh, and I bet you love it if I kill myself then. Where'd that come from? I what a prime example of your you, just you. Huh, you would. You would, I know it already. I'm right here where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can. Just for you. You know? I have just one thing for that. Back at your back and call just like it was back when. What? No. Screw you, Andrew. Then I look on the bad guy here. Never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Ask me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you had listened to a word I said, you know I. I don't even want to spend time with me anymore. I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then, we aren't friends anymore? Now, of course we are, we just. We have this. Can we just go? Just one. Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. No, you don't. You're so bad about me. I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Either you did. And a demon. Well, listen. I'm not harming a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. Yeah, I make you do shit, Andrew. Mm. You tried to bass it up all by yourself. And you tried to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You told us a lot. Da 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 in the got great. We fucking got choked. Cry ourselves to sleep today, Andy. My poor Andy. So that just came out of your mouth. What? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me. You back playing fuck but brother, you chose me. You did, you did. I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. You won't. You can't, cause I'm the one, I'm the one you can talk to. And you can sleep at night, and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that. Is the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. Where they go now? Go like this? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you, can we go? I like to go too, but the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We can go now, and I'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene, too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll end up here and be done with it. But if you come with, there's plenty of reason not to. I won't. Well, I already said, there are some pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I have to go with you very much. Though if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. It's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. I don't give a shit about I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave, you behave, isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? But I'm still are getting out of here in the first place. That's right, our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. He's so spineless. And I hate lately like you wouldn't believe. Huh? See, we're saying die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever the name means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor. Most of the warden is done. Surprised you didn't shoot me yet. Maybe later. Hmm. It's gotta hear you, Andrew. Yeah, fuck that lady.
Mm, look, another window. Great, jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is the only second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Can we have like a rope or something we can use to climb down? The lady has something. Will you divide? I guess not. Hmm. You're gonna leave that from where you I had to wash your blood off of me. Right. If you accept it. Thanks. Okay. Dairy dishes. They're just full of food. So she was getting food. But we were so so wonderful. Can we use the carpet? Pretty sure it's something obvious once again. I do have some inquiring organs. Seriously, they don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. Working on it, damn it. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. You're gonna say you're trying to comfort me, but you're worried the opposite. Whatever, what's the slip of paper saying? Here's a slip tape on the read 2XAB. That's supposed to mean. But no, don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. How about that up there? That not rope? Okay. This is just ignore that, like that's not rope. We'll be right back when we figure out how to get out of this window. So, y'all aren't getting held up by me being confused because, yeah. Alright, so we got to the point where we figure out how to get down from the window. We go to the right edge of the carpet and uh, do it that way. It tells you in the walkthrough because I, I couldn't figure it out real life for me. Okay, so I'm not sure how we're gonna secure it though. You hold it while the sun. Yeah, and I'll jump into your arm once you're down. Does that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. No, no, I won't. We gotta set up something to hold the carpet in the place while we climb down. Let's see it by the window for now. Okay. Now we have to figure out that part. Um, 
so let's see. But I am cheating, I am looking at the walkthrough because I was stuck. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get the nail gun to actually secure it. And get the hell out of there. Who are you using nail gun and the other carpet on the wall? Doesn't look safe. There's something else. I'm going for it. Nothing else. Maybe the carpet will my descent down. I mean, I guess. Alright, you go first. Yeah, I'm gonna go first and I'm a lady. You climb down very young lady-like. What happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip down. And then find a buffet restaurant. Oh, then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? Then as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. Yeah, they'll all figure it out. Good guy, I have no idea what we're gonna do, Ashley. First things first, get the town and the buffet. Let's go get a real tourist location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Don't want to run the place, use an app. Let's try to find some grunt work somewhere too. I even don't think that's gonna do. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. I'll work out. At least we live on our bridge or something. As trolls, we eat those who won't pay the toll on the cross. A few laughs, anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything hasn't gone to crap. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching the bus. I'm happy. I'm happy you out of there, too. Another one? I'm here away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you are downstairs gave me a gift. I didn't want to know. Well, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. Who knows? Hope you do. It'll be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep sleeping my eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Suck, so, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. Be on the bus and drive the hell out of there. The end. Grim grim motherfucker. Thanks for playing. <sighs> that was awesome. Besides being stuck at the end, I really enjoyed that. I love their art style, their brotherly sisterly bond that they have. It was all nice. Here are the credits. All links are in readme text. If you're curious about that. Um, but yeah. This is the Coffin of Andy and Lady. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this visual novel, this game. I played it all the way through just for y'all, so you can watch it all the way through, or you can check out the walkthrough, which is also included, and you can figure out easy that way. I did everything without the walkthrough up to the very end, because I literally went to every floor, every room, clicked everything, and I thought I clicked the carpet, but I guess I didn't. I missed the right corner of the carpet, so that's like my only thing. But um, so that I did enjoy my experience, so. If you like this video, of course, don't hesitate to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And with that being said, this is the Coffin of Annie and Laylee. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you all like it. If you don't, then that's fine. But, um, yeah. So, hope you all had a good day. Good yesterday and better tomorrow. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.